All right, Hudson. So I was like picking a zit. That was neat. Mom! Yeah. Mom! Is it? Alright, let's try it again. Mm. Alright, so Harley's got a lot of shoveling to do today. Got a lot of snow last night. So it snowed pretty good last night. And so today will be a day of snow chores. Just kind of cleaning up. And that means getting snow off of our structures. And that will basically be the day. So Harley's in there tapping off the tarp that goes over the mill. Uh, it's held up, which has been great, but we've had to get up, you know, in the middle of the night, take shifts to get the snow off. Um, you know, of course, we'd like something uh, better over the mill at this point, but we had to throw this up and we just didn't have the time or the finances to do that this year. All right, this is a fun favorite for Harley here. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was creative. <laughs> this is our water filling station here. It's nice and flat. We built it out of crates, so we have to clean it off before we fill waters today. Did you know that his hot fence is probably not going to be working much longer? Yeah. Are you keeping him in the pen, Ruby? Ruby, what's he doing? Ruby, what's he doing? Where'd it come? Where did that hose just come from? Inside. And why do we wrap up the hose and put it inside now? Because it'll freeze. Any water that's in there will freeze. Absolutely. So let's hook it up. We've got to get some water for the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, while well, Lily uh, was waiting for the water to kind of run for a bit, she decided to spell something out with the hose. I like it. It is Lily. Cute. All right, well, let's get to filling some waters here for the day. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. 
problem. What's going on? Did that one get frozen? This one might have to um, thaw inside because oh, of Oh, because of... Yep. Someone left that out, and so what happens is it just all freezes. And now we can't fill it, so you have to bring it inside, let the lid thaw from the blue container, and then you can fill it because it is frozen on solid. So when we, you know, we don't have water ran to the cabin, obviously yet. And so when you don't have that, um, we come out here and we fill our waters, and then we bring the waters in the cabin and utilize the water that way. But then you have to deal with stuff like that sometimes coming up, which isn't a big deal. And then once these are all filled, <clears throat> the kids will cap them and the strong boys will, and Lily, of course. Back a dolly more, just do that. Yeah. Bring them inside and that's where they are so they don't do the deep freeze ice cube thing out here. And this is the song and dance we have to play through the whole winter with water. Okay, so right after we are done filling waters, we quickly take the hose out. And we're going to coil this up and bring it inside. All right, now it goes inside. That's going to be really heavy. You may have to take one water out. It's a bit full. I mean, I know you guys are strong, but... Holy cow. Oh! Completely planned, wasn't it, Harley? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's funny stuff. Well, you know, when you don't have a TV, you watch every, you know, little things are funny. Okay. Maybe you should not use the sled. Yeah, it's got ice on the it makes sense. I feel like it'd be quicker if you just hauled him in. No, Lily, Harley can take him in. Harley is pretty strong here. Lily, you are too, but. No, I'm strong. You are? Yes, you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lily, she does not listen well. Let Harley get those. What? Let Harley get the waters. She is stubborn. Lily has found the strength to, Lily's found strength. Carry it, Lily. Harley, look, Lily can carry a water jug. Are you looking, Harley? Lily, let me see it. Shake it. Show him the trick. Ah! <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> 
That's funny. I like that, Lily. So also, I was going to show you guys what happens, and I talk about, I think this in one of our other videos, when the snow starts coming, the pig hot fence, you know, obviously stays where it is, but the snow ends up, it's going to actually get buried here very soon. And then there's no hot fence, and then the pigs get out. So pretty soon here, um, we are going to process uh, one of our hogs because they end up getting out, and there is literally no way to contain them because they they won't go back in their pen and they won't stay in their pen so it becomes kind of an issue and we found out the hard way that is why a lot of people do not winter pigs and again if we had a barn and structures we could absolutely do it but we have not had the finances or the time to throw up a barn yet so if you're doing it kind of the cheap way like this that is what happens all right, and another item up on our snow chore list today is going to be pulling away the snow from the cabin. And that is very important because what happens is if you don't move the snow away while it is soft, it's gonna freeze here in a couple of days and then everything's kind of locked in and you're not pulling any snow away. So Lily's gonna get on it here. So we have to, we rake it down all of the boards and then you actually have to move the whole pile away and then we try and keep it somewhat cleaned off through the winter uh, or else ice starts to build up and then it can be a slipping hazard. So that is on our to-do list today is to move a lot of snow away from this cabin. All right, and on today's chores as well is we need to clean off the cabin steps. Um, we don't have a covered porch yet. That's the plan for next year. Until then, we've got maintenance. So, Harley, what are you doing? I want to take this log scraper. Log scraper? Scrape off. And what are you doing? Oh, I see. I see. So let's show how we have to do this. And obviously, if you don't keep these cleaned off, there's a lot of slipping going on, which we don't want. So we're going to let Harley work on these. Alright, so Lily has finished one side of the cabin here. She's done a lovely job pulling the snow away and making it into a kind of a snow mound here. Then later Jeff will come and pick this up with the snow blower and blow it away. It's all Lily. Good job, Lily. Yeah. That's an arm workout, huh? Yeah, that's there. Yeah, definitely there. You don't feel it? You're that strong? No, I feel it. Oh, okay. Because I don't really care about it. Oh, you don't care about the, the pain? No. <laughs> right, I got this stuff to do. Oh, she's, she's not done. She's getting some more over here. Look at this. She's oh, going for it. I'm the magpie, ma'am. Oh, the, where's the magpie? No, oh, you it. got kind of a beef here with the chicken and a magpie? What do we got? Mm. Oh, yeah, there's nice. Oh, magpie. Chicken's like, uh... This is my turf. Oh. Oh, yeah. See, that's already turned to ice there. And that makes for an arm workout. And that's why it's just easier to get it off when it is powdery. <clears throat> when it's powdery, comes off way easier than having to. And then it's also when you have to pick it like that, it's very hard on your tools and they'll actually break. So. Just get a pickaxe. You're going to get the pickaxe? Yeah. Well, remember last year we broke one of those mud rakes doing exactly that, what you just did. We tried to pickaxe this ice and we broke it, which yeah. was not good. 
Why don't you go get the pickaxe? That's what we'll do. See, Lily knows you always put your tools somewhere they will not get buried. He's going to broom some off. And then we have a, a tip we want to show you guys what we do to help. Works for us anyways for now. Until we get our covered porch. Just got to deal with this stuff. Okay, so how we live, having to deal with these steps this year anyways. This is our secret weapon to keep them not so icy. Lily, show them the secret weapon. <laughs> what is this? Morton salt. All right, Lily, show them how we do it. Yeah. You know, like I said, this is kind of the cheap way to do it. All right, Harley, go ahead and try the moonwalk. <laughs> nice. Yes. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Sweet. Wow, nice. So today is a little bit of some laundry day. So I'm out here, everything's frozen. So I am going to my handy dandy pot laundry where I do the pot laundry in the pot. And we're having to take it outside for rinsing and washing. And this is how we have to do laundry through the winter because it's cold and everything freezes here. So. We do inside laundry. I do it in a pot, wring it out out here, and then we hang it up to dry um, inside. So today, part of the chores is some laundry. So uh, that's what I'm working on right now. And when you do it by hand, it takes a long time over just putting it in the washer and walking away from it. I can't walk away from this or nothing will get done.